Hi there, Just for Sweets here. I am back. It's been a hectic two weeks, so I have not put out any cooking videos, and I apologize. Uh, as you all know, my daughter had a baby a couple weeks ago, and she was in the hospital. I was watching my grandson. I caught a cold in the midst of all of it that I'm still shaking off, so it's been kind of hectic. So today what I wanted to bring you is a baked breakfast, sort of, it's not really a cupcake, but it's more of just an all-in-one bake. And we are going to do this as a food 911. Yesterday for Father's Day, I made homemade pancakes and bacon. And I have some leftover pancakes, and these are a vanilla cinnamon pancake that I make. And I made them with seltzer water, so they're a little fluffy. I use the leftover batter, and I just make uh, pre-made pancakes and stick them in the fridge so the kids have breakfast during the week. This is all I have left, however. So I have my pancake, and I'm going to do the good old-fashioned way that my mom taught me with an old baggie and some butter. And we are going to butter this souffle dish. I believe it's a three-cup souffle dish. Now feel free to use a muffin tin or use a smaller souffle dish to do this. You do not have to use this size. I am just going to show you a bigger version. And this is the good old-fashioned way that my mom taught me to grease pans. And she also taught me with the plastic from um, our loaf of bread. You know, obviously not rip open the bread, but use the end of it if you don't have any baggies. But feel free to butter your dish however you want. You can also use spray grease in this if you prefer. And so we're going to set this aside. Make sure your oven is preheated to 375 degrees. We're going to go ahead and we are going to roll this pancake out. And you want to do it nice and gentle and try to avoid breaking the pancake. Now, I will do a buttermilk pancake recipe here in the future so you can see how I make mine. See how it's starting to tear, so you have to be really gentle. And you can make some thicker pancakes with your, you know, Bisquick or whatever kind of pancakes you like to make. Now, if they rip, it's not the end of the world. You're going to cut them out anyway. So I have a biscuit cutter that I'm going to make four, try to get four circles out of this because it is a big a big dish. There's my timer. I need to grab, grab that real quick. But let's go ahead and cut these. And even if there's a tear, it's okay. It's not going to hurt anything. Okay. We're going to go ahead and we've got the four circles. You can either discard this, feed it to your dogs, or whoever will eat the scraps. Let me grab this. Just a couple more minutes. Okay. And so now we have four circles. And what we're going to do is we are going to get a knife and we are going to place one circle at the bottom of our souffle dish, just at the very bottom. And then we are going to cut two of these in half and we're going to place them around the inside of the souffle dish. Just to cover up, you know, you're covering up the gaps. And go ahead and shove those in there. They don't have to be perfect but we're going to shove them in there, kind of push them down so that you meet the edges of the other one. See how it's in there? Now we're going to take this one and we're going to cut it into four. And we are going to press that in between to make it a perfect like little crust. Now, if you don't have pancakes or you don't want to use pancakes, you can substitute this with a couple pieces of wheat bread or white bread, whatever you prefer. Maybe even some biscuit if you like to. We're going to press that all in there and just cut your wheat bread, you know, kind of roll it out, not too thin, roll it out and cut it with your biscuit cutter as well. Now here I've made some maple butter and all I did was have some softened butter that I added about a teaspoon of maple syrup to because maple syrup and butter go great with pancakes and you know what, it goes great with bacon too and we're going to stick some bacon in this dish. So you want to go ahead and rub rub that that butter on there now if you don't like maple syrup feel free to just you know melt a little bit of butter and rub that in there I love maple syrup with my bacon and my pancakes so mix it all together and I'm fine okay and I've pre-made my bacon and I actually cut two strips of bacon and you want to cook them halfway 
you know, you want them to be crisp, but you don't want them to be overcooked. So if you like your bacon well done, don't cook it well done for this dish until you're all done. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out of the oven really quickly. Okay. And what we're going to do now is we're going to layer this bacon. So you take, I cut these in half and you don't have to, that's just what I chose to do. And I'm going to shove those in here and just kind of layer them in there. Now you can add more bacon, less bacon, whatever you choose to do. You can use sausage instead of bacon if you like. Use turkey bacon, turkey sausage, whatever you prefer. Set that aside. I have some uh, fresh chicken eggs that I got from uh, a neighbor down the street who has chickens. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna crack a couple of those open. Stick one right there. And if you watch in this pantry, there's nothing better than a fresh chicken egg. We're, we're fortunate to have a neighbor that has chickens and she has so many eggs that she usually gives us a couple dozen of them. So this, I'm already on my second dozen. So there we are. We have everything in the souffle dish. We're going to sprinkle just a little bit of pepper on top because pepper goes wonderful with this. Now feel free to add salt if you want to. I'm not adding salt because the bacon has salt and even though I buy a low sodium bacon, I, I don't feel that I need any more salt in this, but you can do whatever you like. So we have our oven preheated to 375 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in there for 25 to 30 minutes. You just want your whites to be set. And you can also go back and watch um, Linda's pantry. She has a baked egg recipe. She does it with a crab bake, and I think she does just baked eggs as well. So you can watch hers too. Go back and check hers out and see what she does with hers. I'm going to, I pre-made one. So this one I just pulled out of the oven. That's what you heard the timer going off. My yolks are a little bit done on top, but I wanted my white to be set. So I'm going to go ahead. You can flip it over if you want to. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to place this in the center of a plate. And... I'm gonna serve it just like this because it's in a souffle dish. Now, if it were in a muffin tin, like I said you could do, then I would probably flip them over. But let them cool, kind of take a knife and run along the edges, whether it's a muffin tin or a souffle pan, and just kind of loosen that up. Feel free to add more pepper if you want to. You can, you can add your favorite topping, you know. You can add jelly. So my dad loves fried eggs and jelly. This is a baked egg, same thing. Um, you can add some sour cream to it. You can add fresh vegetables. If I, you know, I would probably serve, if I were going to serve this for a brunch or anything, I'd probably put some fresh fruit on the side and serve that to um, whoever I'm making breakfast for. So I wanted to share this recipe with you and get myself back on YouTube uh, with some cooking videos. And so I don't really have a name for this except it's a baked breakfast cup. And I hope you get a chance to try it. Like I said, substitute the pancakes with wheat or white bread. Substitute the bacon with turkey bacon, sausage, turkey sausage. Cook the sausage the same way, almost all the way done. You know, you want it to be done, but not overdone, so that it can bake in the oven a little bit. Heat your oven to 375, bake it for about 30 minutes. You know, check it after 25 and see how you like your eggs. Some people like their whites runny, I don't. Um, but there you go, and it's an easy, easy brunch thing. It's an easy breakfast to make for, for friends, for your family. It's a good food 911 to use leftovers with. So I hope you had fun, I hope you learned something. And my suggestion would be is to make Linda's habanero mango jelly that you hear me talk about all the time, and I would shove just a little dollop on top, because then you get the spicy with the eggs and the sweet with the bacon and the pancake, and to me that's perfect. In fact, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this with that on top. So have a great day. If you like this recipe, please hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. Questions, comments, always feel free to leave those. And we'll see you real soon. Until then, God bless.